Welcome back. If you're just joining us, we are Aaron and Liv, and we are renovating a 109-year-old craftsman bungalow. Duh. Right now what I'm doing is fun stuff. I'm cleaning off the old switches at the house because they're just gross. Let me just show you. It just happens over time. Gr grime, who knows? Oil, dirt. Um, so before we put on new switch plates, we're just gonna dust this off. We've got toothbrush, some cleaner, and uh, yeah, that way it just doesn't feel gross every time you flip the switch. All right, much better, much better. It's amazing, amazing. At least you can see the on buttons and the off buttons without grime. We have a large selection of wildflowers at the pond and this is Canada Goldenrod. So I came to look at the flower, but take a look at what's really there. Hi, buddy. He is an impressive praying mantis. Back at the airport. This is now August 26th, Monday. Uh, settled in a little bit more in the Indianapolis house. Uh, unfortunately, Aaron was sick, and then I contracted whatever he had, so for about six days, it's pretty icky. Um, starting to feel a little bit better, so hopefully when I return in about two and a half weeks, I uh, get some more things done and complete, but pretty happy with what we've got done so far. Aaron's been working real hard to get things in order outside. I was able to get in order when I could inside. So there's lots of things up in the air, lots of exciting things, lots of energy required things. So stick with us and uh, Aaron and I will be posting videos. I'll be making content as I can. He'll be taking videos while he's at home doing projects. I will be doing projects and we'll just uh, share that with you. And yeah, appreciate your support and sharing and uh, suggestions as you see things that could be beneficial as we create a new space, the pond at five points. It is so humid and hot in Florida. I don't know what the temperature is, but you walk outside, it's like. <sighs> All right, time to get home, do some work. Lots is gonna go, lots is gonna happen in the next few weeks. Okay, friends, so this is the south, this is the west. My house, the west. This is the neighbor's house, which has never been lived in. It was under construction when I moved in and no one's here yet. This was all flat when I moved in two and a half years ago and they're all now there. These two sold a couple weeks ago. So if you saw my video last September Labor Day, this was completely, this used to be a huge Australian pine tree forest and it was completely mown down. But yeah. I have a nice little place here and it's quiet. This is one of the reasons why I moved here. Uh, back of my house. But it's time for it to be someone else's, so I'm getting it ready. New roof twice since the hurricane. New paint. But yeah, nicely situated. And... And here we are, removed from all windows. These are going with me, as well as my curtains. is one of two really large spools, wooden spools, that were breaking down. One of them was really bad. The other one is probably gonna have to be moved in a different way. Hey guys. So, I decided I'm gonna trim my hair. Why do I have to pay $120 just to trim my hair? I have fine straight hair. 
Literally, I don't do anything else. She doesn't do anything fancy. She cuts it blunt across. So, I decided to get a pedicure because I was in need of some foot therapy. And I'm gonna save the money and I'm gonna just trim the ends myself because I should be able to do this. It's not perfect, and I'm actually okay with that. I'm doing a center part where I usually do the natural part, so it's gonna be a little weird for a bit, but it's not a lot. Don't be afraid. There it is, guys. It's not much. I think it's August 27th today. Getting a walk in. Uh, still feeling pretty tired from being sick for a week uh, but it's gorgeous and then <laughs> I keep hearing the fish flopping out of the water over there at the canal so the uh, Gulf of Mexico is like that way like three miles two miles maybe this is a canal so this is pretty much the edge and then there's an island so probably less than three miles at this point but uh, there's a gorgeous beautiful rainbow behind me So just uh, appreciating the present while I prepare for the future um, and uh, called to get a piece of glass replaced at the house. Talked to my realtor today who's coming over tomorrow. Uh, gonna have to repair some drywall, which is no big deal. But yeah, just trying to get about a mile of walk in right now. We'll see how it goes, nice and steady. So uh, this is the walk-in closet in the master. Um, Livy's brother Wyatt came through uh, over the last couple weeks, did some <clears throat> drywall and did some sanding. But uh, I wanted to show you guys, I can't really see it, but that brown was the predominant color uh, in the entire house. So, um, I found some other areas around some uh, light outlets, and yeah, it's kind of a mocha. Anywho, um, doing some painting. So, it's uh, Tuesday night around 9.30. Um, got a roof installed tomorrow, and uh, just going, just continue to go. So, keep you updated. Have a good one. hyperlapse of Aaron putting together a grill and as you can see he is in one of our pole barns. We have two. One of them will be used for our creative studios and the other one for his business. Did a little thrift shopping at the new store near my house and that video is on the channel hey guys it is a hot and muggy one here in central indiana today pushing 100 with like 60 something percent humidity uh so it's a perfect time to fix my pool cover um recently moved in about a month ago uh learning a lot and let me get this drop down here for you guys. So the slider or glider, as some of them are called, uh, gave out. 
So I went to, um, I think it's Cover Central here in uh, Indianapolis on the north side and got a two pack of Universal uh, sliders that will be added today. I'm gonna do both of them. I was recommended to do both. Don't just do one since they are different models. So uh, don't have a tripod or anything, but just wanted to let you know, I will take a few more videos of this um, as things progress. And uh, yeah, definitely a good day to get sweaty and then get in the pool. Not so as I'm walking back out here to the pool, guys, uh, this is a automatic pool covers, pool cover. Um, did a little research on it. Uh, this is a line pool. It's an under track uh, guide. So hopefully all this information might be able to help somebody else out there that is going through the same issues that I'm going through and uh, doesn't want to call the technician out here for a work order. Um, I do know that the two pack of these uh, was roughly about $220, $230, um, everything included, including the instructions. And um, I originally had my first order shipped here and found out that it was on the north side of Indianapolis. So uh, super excited about that because um, they have other pool cover options and liners and all of that. So uh, we'll give you some information and some links in the description. But uh, anyway, got the knife, got a towel. I'm probably gonna take a dip and do this in the pool. We'll see how that works. All right, guys, I am going to uh, turn the camera around here and give you guys a little glimpse of what I'm getting ready to do. So I have not done this. We'll get a little experience today. So uh, from what the tech told me, I need to loosen these take this off, pull this out about a foot. Uh, there is the uh, piece that's in here. It looks like the plastic's still connected. Like it was sewn in, so I'm gonna have to take this off the runner, take a knife, get the old plastic piece uh, that's connected to that. It was uh, set in there like so, and then through that bolt there so up underneath and then into that track so you can tell it's still on the bottom part and sewn in so I'll have to take that out and then this is the new one uh, the groove will be facing up so it rides on the plastic and then this one also has, instead of being sewn in like this one, this one has some very small screws that will be uh, placed. Yeah, there you go. That will be placed in those holes. Um, the tech said two on each should be sufficient. Here's the hardware, a couple of uh, washers, carriage bolts, and some lock nuts. These are the screws. Uh, very tiny. I will definitely need to be somewhat uh, careful with that. So that's what we're working at. I'm gonna do this one first since it's the damaged and broken one and then I'll move over there and do that one. All right guys it's pretty sunny out here not sure if you can see or not but uh, I definitely can't see the camera so I'm hoping it's right. So this is the broken one as you can see uh, I'll probably end up getting some needle nose, try and get the rest of that off, and uh, a knife to get the rest of that off. And then you probably could have just pulled the uh, screws out of the drive and taken the aluminum plate off, but I decided to just throw a couple of uh, 4x4s and 4x6s under there. Um, this is the one that was not broken, but we're still gonna replace that one today. Uh, as you can tell, the rope is in through there. So, going to get a couple more tools from the toolbox, and uh, yeah, be back. 
So after pulling, uh, so you gotta pull about a foot from the main uh, spool here. It is gonna take quite a bit of force to get that, but then you'll be able to feed that back through all the way down to the end and then pull out the, uh, the actual cover. And um, I did manage to get the rest of the plastic off and as much of the original, um, I, I would assume that's heavy duty sewing thread or uh, like a sailor's sail awning um, thread. Uh, definitely pretty heavy duty. Couldn't get all of it out, didn't want to chance chance it and possibly uh, damage the rope so uh, I was able to get this on you are gonna have to kind of twist and manipulate and persuade this a little bit to get in uh, get the rope to encapsulate into that and now I am going to uh, take my impact driver and very 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 gently um, start to drill these in now the uh, tech at the store I don't know if you can see that very tiny uh, screws but they do have some pre drilled here let me see if I can get the other one if you can see in there if I get it to focus inside there are some pre drilled holes uh, on the inner um, piece of plastic so what I was told to do is to be very careful as it goes in as it could uh, it could flare out and poke through the plastic itself so um, I don't have anything to hold the camera while I do this so I'm going to go ahead and do it and show you what it looks like after it is done so stay tuned all right guys gonna try and zoom in here i think you can see it so first one went pretty good uh this is a ph1 driver bit and i'm using my dewalt impact driver uh, i've got it at a two right now but um i think switching it to one should be even better uh, i did also hold my fingers down here on the plate so if I could feel any kind of plastic movement from the screw going in uh, I've stopped but the first one went well so I'm gonna do uh, it's recommended only to do two per side uh, there are six holes and I believe it comes with uh, six screws for each but the technician said um, three on each side is overkill, so just do two on each side of this. So, uh, going back at it, and I uh, will show you what's next. Uh, again, it's pretty sunny out here. I can't see the, the camera screen, so I'm not sure how focused this is. Uh, but as you can tell, I got four screws in there. Um, it is screwed, and I put it right where at the end where the canopy. Uh, or cover meets the rope which is also where the original glider was on and you want to make sure that the plastic is facing down and the gap is facing up when it goes back into the track so I pulled it in I'm not going to attach this uh, back to the cover plate until I get the other one switched out and then I'm also going to pull the cover out a little bit because I've got to get uh, I've got to get the captures in there. I guess those are just uh, to make sure that it doesn't roll all the way out. Um, I would say stops is what they're called. Uh, and then pull it out, bring it out like about a foot or so from the, from the pool edge. And then that's where I will um, attach the slider itself back to the bracket uh, of the roller. Um, cover lip there and again that is going to be a carriage bolt which will go from underneath 
and then I've got a washer and a lock nut. Uh, if you notice the carriage bolt, if I can get it in there, the carriage bolt has the square edges, so showing you from this side, it will ride flat underneath. Uh, so that's how it's gonna be, but again, I am going to install it from the bottom. That way I can attach the bolt, or uh, the nut, and that's also how the original one was as well. The original one actually had an inset and just had a regular uh, hex head. So um, that's how the original one was. And again, it was, uh, it, it broke off. So uh, that's the reason I'm doing this. So gonna replace the other one over there, get that ready and guys, stay tuned. Got it done. Uh, not too bad. Probably took me about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, changing both of them, kind of learning everything. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna turn the camera around, open it up for you so you can see uh, it in action. And best of luck to you guys. Happy Labor Day. If you like what you saw here, guys, definitely hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications when we put new videos out uh, try and do this at least once a week we'll see this is a new channel for me so just uh, giving it a shot again a under track glide replacement all the way open and all the way closed replaced both of them uh, got them from I believe it's Cover Central here in the Indianapolis area. Uh, you can get them online. Uh, parts, I believe it's automaticpoolcoverparts.com um, or covercentral.com. Not sure which one it was. I ordered a couple of different parts from a couple of different people. But I am going to open this guy back up and jump in because why not? After you finish working on something and it's a pool and it's your pool then uh enjoy the the benefits have a great one Another hyperlapse for you. Now, Aaron is painting our master bathroom, the whale's gray, which will be the color throughout the rest of the home. And uh, the positioning of the bathroom is a little weird, but we're gonna work with it until it's time to remodel it. And I think paint colors can make such a difference. He has put in a lot of elbow grease <laughs> and his poor elbow is showing it, but uh, Something as simple as a paint color can really make a huge difference in how your home feels and how you feel in it. So thanks, Aaron. Hey guys, it's uh, Saturday evening and I uh, decided to take care of some pests. Um, I've had some yellow jackets here on the property and a pile of wood that had been sitting around for years because it was uh, completely rotted. Anytime I tried to move it, it just all disintegrated and fell apart. Oh, I've been stung like three times by these yellow jackets and so I decided to take action 
uh, and actually kill two birds with one stone. Uh, show you what I have done. So I was and still am going to be moving this pile of wood over to the fire pit, which is where I'm been burning it. But uh, a lot of this stuff, as you can tell, um, has just completely been just uh, disintegrated. Yellow jacket nest, it was burrowed inside underneath there and uh, and just trying to get this cleared up. Uh, this is going to be a nice little patchy area here. Not sure what I'm going to put in here yet. This might be uh, another little shed or something. Central Indiana, sunset. It rained all night last night and uh, it's Labor Day weekend. Hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Whatever you do, be safe. Make sure you make it home tonight and uh, the people that are around you, friends, family, look out for those guys too. So take care, stay tuned.